Hey guys, welcome back to another haul here on my channel. This is going to be everything nail care and nail polish related and nail art related that I got in the month of March. So when I was pulling all this together this afternoon, I was like, oh, you know, I didn't do so bad, right? And then I pulled up my spreadsheet because on my <laughs> spreadsheet, I even input like when I purchased it and where. And I sorted it by March 2021 and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I did do that bad. So, well, to be fair to me, there are two polishes in front of me that I did not buy. I won one of them in a giveaway, which was pretty exciting. And my boyfriend found one. So, <laughs> all right, well, uh, we'll get into that in a minute. But just like I did last time, I think I'm going to go through the nail care and nail art related stuff first and then we'll get into the polish and I'll try to show you overhead shots of everything and then with the nail polish itself I do have the swatch stick so you can kind of see the color as it's dried up uh, so that you can kind of see the color in its dry state versus you know the way it looks in the bottle. Up first I have uh, an Ulta order that I placed I think it was like right at the beginning of March and I bought this OPI rapid dry spray because I I've used the quick dry drops at this point and now I wanted to try this spray and I gotta say it smells horrible it smells like burning like kind of like burning rubber or like almost like you know when you go to a garage to get an oil change kind of like that like car chemicals, oil, whatever, but something worse. It just doesn't smell good. So I sprayed it for the first time on my nails and I was like, it's, it's pretty rough. So I've been using it on my toes just to use it up and I will never <laughs> repurchase this. Um, it just smells like really strongly for me. And I'm not someone who gets too bothered by scents, especially not, you know, chemical scents when it comes to nail polish and stuff like that. But this one, it just, it's off in a weird way that I'm not used to with this hobby. And I also picked up, because I don't know, why did I buy both of these? <laughs> I bought the OPI Drip Dry uh, Lacquer Drying Drops. And this was just, I don't know, I just keep trying other drops just to see if I like them better than the Ella and Mila ones. And um, no, I don't. <laughs> These are fine, they work fine. Actually, like the bottle is nice. The dropper itself is also glass, but it's just a lot smaller than um, the other ones that I've purchased. And I don't think like the price was very competitive, even though it was smaller. So I'll use these up, they work fine, but I probably won't buy them ever again. I'll just keep buying the Ella and Mila ones. Don't let me buy any more of these drops, you guys. I already know which ones I like. I don't need any more. So then, uh, because I bought a certain dollar amount of OPI, which, to be honest, this is the real reason I bought OPI stuff from Ulta, uh, you got this nail art a la carte. It's like a nail art box. It's a celebrating 40 years for the OPI, and it has 40 nail art cards inside. And the cards are really, let me pull one up here. So on the one side here, it's got, you know, a swatch, like a swatch photo or a nice like post photo of somebody who's done the nail art. And it tells you whichever uh, nail polishes they use from OPI, obviously like OPI branded, they used OPI polishes, but you can do whatever you want. It also has like a little bit of trivia on the front which is cool, like this one says, like it uses the shades Funny Bunny and Black Onyx, and it says, Susie created this soft pink in OPI's 2007 Garden Party collection as a reminder to always have a sense of humor. I don't know, I guess that's important. Um, and then on the other side, it has, this one has two steps, some of them have like up to four, but it's got the, the skill level in the upper right hand corner. And then it tells you, it shows you the colors again. It tells you to post it on Instagram and it shows you to tag at OPI and at Ulta Beauty. They give you little tips and stuff like that. And the other cool thing is this box has, I don't know if you can see that cutout ridge, 
but you can literally just set the nail art card inside, set it on your table, and you know do your nail art while looking at it. And so I think that's a really nice gift. I thought, I mean, sometimes the free gifts of purchase are kind of janky, but I thought that this one was really nice. And so I'm excited to try some of these out. I think it would be fun to maybe do something on my channel with nail art starting soon. Um, it would give me an excuse to do more nail art. So I think that this is kind of a fun little way to do that. So that was my first Ulta order. And then uh, later in the month, I picked up another nail oil. Now this is I guess you could use this oil anywhere. It's the Terra Beauty Bar's Floral Infusion Multitasking Oil. Uh, you know, I saw that it was four ounces and it didn't really register to me <laughs> just how big this was gonna be, but it's really, it smells really good. It smells like, um, at Lush they used to have this cleanser. I think it was called like Angels on Bare Skin. Okay, yeah, I looked it up, it is <laughs> Angels on Bare Skin. And that was really the first cleanser I'd ever really used on my face. And this kind of has a similar scent to that. And I do like it. It's a little bit of a more natural scent, but it's like got some floral to it. And this oil has coconut oil, jojoba oil, and some type of lavender in it. It says you can use it on your body, your hair, and your nails. It is waterless and I guess it is also vegan. I haven't used it in my hair or anything like that yet. I would like to try that, but mostly I just really think this is really nice on the nails and it smells really good and it's like an endless supply here so I've got so much oil I need to work through I need to stop buying oils um will I though probably not okay and then the last thing before we hop into the nail polish is this Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover it's like a gel I have the blue cross one it comes in a big bottle it's it works fine there's nothing wrong with it but this is the first one I ever tried and I like the gel consistency way more than the Blue Cross one because the Blue Cross one if you've ever seen it it looks like milk and it is the consistency of such as well and so it can get really messy when you're trying to put it like in your cuticles and it starts running out all over the table and you gotta like lay stuff down this one kind of where you put it it kind of stays and so while it's, you know, you only get the ounce, it's not as big. Um, this stuff kind of lasts a while. It took me a really long time to go through my first bottle. So I don't mind paying a little bit more uh, per ounce or whatever. I don't really care too much about that when it's so cheap. So I am glad I have this back. I'm still gonna run through the Blue Cross. I just don't know if I'll repurchase it because like I said, I, I cannot control it. I make such a mess with it. So the first polish purchase that I made this month was a order I placed to Zoya. I saw on Instagram, I believe, that they were doing 70% off, which is insane. I don't think I've ever really purchased Zoya full price ever in my life, though. So they just have sales all the time. You know, you, you can always find something. So I like to just kind of add Zoyas to my wish list as the time goes on, wait for a sale, and then just wipe my wish list out. And then you know, rinse and repeat. So I bought, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I bought 10 Zoyas because at 10 bucks a piece, 70% off, that's $3 a polish. So I spent 30 bucks on 10 nail polishes, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna show you just what they look like in the bottle and the swatch stick, but we have Pepper and Channing, which I bought because I don't really have like a lot of reds and oranges from Zoya. And then I bought Sonia. I don't actually know why I bought this. I, I Probably the swatch on the website got me. Um, but I have a lot of pinks from Zoya, so there's one more to add to the collection. I got Merida, which I've seen as kind of like a fan favorite from them. And it is really pretty. Um, so I'm glad I got that one. It At first I thought it was going to be like... Zoya's Giovanna, I think is it Giovanna, which is like a more metallic green, but this one is, it's got hollow in it. So they're definitely different. <laughs> and I picked up another green, which is Frida. It's more of like a tealy green and it's uh, a jelly polish. So I wanted to get that one because I love to buy too many jellies. And then I bought three kind of bluish colors. I got Danielle, which I guess it's, 
Is this purple or is it blue? I guess I couldn't tell you. It's like indigo. Let's cop out and call it indigo. I got robin, which is just like a literal robin's egg blue. And then I got rain, which is kind of an icy blue. And I just thought that was really pretty. I don't know how it's going to look on my skin tone, but I've never cared about that. So we have that one. And then I got two kind of more purpley shades. We got Rihanna and we have Marlo, which Marlo was a newer one. I think this was like the holiday or winter collection. I think it came out in and it was really, or maybe it was spring, but it was the only one I, I do remember. It was the only one out of the collection. It came in that I was actually like, I really want that one. So those are my 10 Zoyas. Okay, and then up next, I won a giveaway on Cork Manicure's YouTube page. I was really excited because it's like, I love Cork Manicure's. I love her uh, Instagram and I love her YouTube channel. And she's just started, you know, a small business as well with her Cricut. So I've been following that as well. I think it's, uh, I really like what she's doing. I like her content. I think she's just a fun person to watch. And so when I won her giveaway, I was really hyped up because I was like, oh my God, love you. But um, it was for a polish that is supposedly a dupe of one of her favorite polish colors that she's ever gotten. And this is by Moonshine Manny. It's called Build Me Up Buttercup. And I'm like, like simping for this nail polish, basically. Not only do I love this color, because when I bought Zoya's Eunice a few months back, um, I realized I'm obsessed with these like gross looking greens. So I was already on board for the color, but I really wanted to try Moonshine Manny because Phoebe Moon, who's here on YouTube, is another YouTuber that I've watched for a really long time, but I've just never bought any of her brand. And I got this polish and I put it on, instantly in love with the color, and then I couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to take it off. And I wore this polish for over seven days and it wasn't until the very last day that it chipped and it was like a baby chip on my thumbnail because I was doing something I shouldn't be doing with my thumbnail, which is trying to open plastic packaging. So if the polishes in this brand are anything like this one, I it's probably like one of the greatest brands I've ever used. So I'm definitely going to place an order with moonshine manny soon um and not that you know she needs promo from my baby channel but if you don't already watch her go check her out because she's a really sweet person and i'm pretty sure she does all of her music on her channel herself i believe i remember her saying once that she records all the piano that is in the background of her channel which i'm like that's super impressive so yes buy this <laughs> buy from Moonshine Manny because you will not be disappointed. All right, so up next, I have eight polishes here. Now, if you are into sinful colors at all, you will know that they have these weird scented polishes that I'm like kind of weirdly obsessed with. I bought like over the summer last year, they came out with these snack scented polishes. So there was like cheese puff and like chocolate cake and cookies and cream and all that. And I, I, like stalked the Walmart website to place an order because I couldn't find them anywhere. I just really wanted them because they're so weird. I know a lot of YouTubers kind of like ragged on them and they were like, these are weird, these are ugly, but I wanted them because they were weird and ugly. So I got those. And then just, I think last month or the month before, I don't, I actually don't know when it announced, but they were releasing their, it's called the Ascend Chills collection. And it was a nine polish collection. They were very like chill, relaxing, you know, calming scents that they were advertising for these nail polishes. And the colors are also very subtle, like nude leaning. Um, I guess maybe they're not all nude leaning, but they're just not like bam in your face vibrant. They're very muted. And I feel like it fits the scents really well. Now you notice I said that I got eight next to me, but there's nine in the collection. So at this point, I didn't realize that there were nine. And so I went on Target's website and I placed the order. And so let's just go through these one by one. We have Salt Bath Babe, which is this pink one that is scented like Himalayan salt. We have Bath Goals, which is scented like Milky Bath, which 
That one sounded kind of gross to me, milky bath, but I guess it's calming. Um, chamomile Calm, which of course is scented like chamomile. It's like a grungy, greeny kind of color. Beach Vibes, which is scented like an ocean breeze, and this one's kind of a deeper blue. Eucalypta, which is scented like eucalyptus. Wouldn't you know it? Lavender, or sorry, low-key lavender, which again, scented like lavender. Coffee Drip, which is scented like coffee. And I got Smoky Palo Santo, which smells like Palo Santo. So out of these eight, um, a lot of people who I saw review them were saying that the scents were not strong or were basically non-existent. I will agree that the scents are not as strong as the last collection, but I felt like I could smell all of them I could, I could smell the scent that they were going for in all of them. So some people said they couldn't smell them at all. I'm not sure what was going on with that. But I found out that the ninth one was not available at Target. It was a Walmart exclusive. So um, we'll get into that one in a second. But yeah, that's the eight uh, essentials that I picked up at Target. I really like them. I'm glad I got them because I like the weird scented nail polish gimmick. I don't, I, I guess it's kind of gross though because you're like sitting there and you're like smelling your fingers. I bet, I bet you look like a freak in public, but I'm used to it. Okay, next was the other polish that I did not buy. It is NYC's Sidewalkers. And this polish, my boyfriend actually found. He works in a job where sometimes you just find things. So, that was just, he just texted me and was like, hey, is NYC a good nail polish brand? I was like, it's not a bad nail polish brand. So he was like, okay, I found something for you. And so then he just brought it home for me. And, you know, I like, I like a gray polish. So I have that. It looks like it's in pretty good condition too. So, you know, pretty cool. And then, um, like I said earlier, and by earlier, I mean like 40 seconds ago, <laughs> As far as that Sinful Colors collection goes, there was one Walmart exclusive, and it is so much a better. And out of all the polishes, I was like, this is the one I want the most. Like, I love matcha. I love the smell of it. love the taste of it. And so I really wanted this polish. So I went to my Walmart that was closest to me, and I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't even find a Sinful Colors display. And so when I, and then I, after that, I decided to look online and it was, they, they don't have any sinful colors at my Walmart for some reason. And so then one day after work, I went to the next closest Walmart and they were out. And then I was like, all right, I'm not giving up. And I GPSed myself to the next nearest Walmart and because they did have sinful colors in stock. And I looked through the whole display and they had every single color except for so much better. And so I was like, well, guess I'm never going to get this one. And I went and I wandered around the nail polish aisle and I got two others in my hot little hand. So I got LA Colors. What is this one? Good Vibes, which is like a really fun, like you can't even like tell the color on the camera because it's such a bright neon vibrant orangey like pink color that it's not picking up right so I got that one and then I also got rocking it and this one is like a cool like even to, this one's more true to color on the camera I think just a fun like blue and these are like part of the the color craze gel extreme shine gel like polish line but I thought they looked good together I almost walked out with like nine of these because I have no self-control but I forced myself to pick two and that's what I did. And then I wandered back over to the sinful colors display and I noticed there was more on the other side and I picked through that and way in the back, hidden under a pile of nail polishes because this Walmart was a mess, I found it and I snatched it up and then I got out of there. So I was glad that I was able to complete the collection um, and now I have all nine and I guess now I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know.
That it com it completed me for those five seconds. Uh, let's just say that. And then my final polish purchase for the month was Holo Taco. They released their newest creams as well as a reformulated royalty blue. That was one I never actually got to purchase. When Holo Taco first came out as a brand, I wasn't purchasing it yet because I just couldn't afford it at the time. And so once that one like sold out, I don't know if they ever restocked it, maybe a couple times. And by the time I started to buy it, it was just never in stock. And so I had the other creams, you know, like what was a one coat black, not milky white and indigo away, but I couldn't get royalty blue. They came out with these four new polishes. Well, three new and one reformulated and they put them in a bundle called, I think for art's sake. So we have banana hacks, which is just a nice yellow color, kind of banana yellow, I guess. There is green screen, which is like a literal green screen color. Um, obviously we have royalty blue, which they already had, but it's reformulated and it's got the wide brush. I think they all have though. Yeah, they all have that wide brush that you saw in the reformulated, not milky white. I did review that on my channel, so I'll link that down below if you guys want to check that out. And we have duct tape gray, which I was pretty <laughs> excited about because I love gray. I love gray polishes. I don't know why it is. I just love gray on my nails. And then I figured because I only had after those four polishes, I was only missing four of her polishes from my collection of all the hollow tacos. I ended up just picking them up. So we have four toppers that I was missing. We have the scattered hollow taco right here. We have the flaky hollow taco. So now I have all three of the hollow tacos and then two of her original unicorn skins I was missing. So I have the Aurora unicorn skin and the cosmic unicorn skin. So now I have every single polish that hollow taco has put out up to this point. And I'm just going to continue to buy the launches as they come out. That way I'm always caught up. Hopefully I don't miss a drop. And uh, yeah, so that is it for the month of March. It is April 3rd as I'm filming this. I have already purchased nail polish in the month of April because on April 1st, Zoya released a new set of neon. So that review, I think I said earlier, that review will be coming at you later in the month. Um, I was thinking about also reviewing the four creams from Holo Taco, but honestly, as, as well as like Holo Taco videos do on my channel, they're like some of my most watched videos. I guess it just doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a point. Let me know if you want me to review them, but honestly, I feel like my review of the reformulated, uh, not Milky White and the two new creams in her Unicorn Dream collection. They're all pretty consistent with that. Uh, like the brushes, I think the quality is the same. So really it would be just be very repetitive, but just know that those, they work just as great as all the others. Um, all right. So let me know what you picked up in the month of March down below. Did you guys get anything that I picked up? Did you guys manage to get the Simple Colors collection or were you like grossed out by that like a lot of other people were? Let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. I really like talking to you in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.